बिसमीम हेलो एंड वेलकम टू रहमान डिजिटल प्रोडक्शन दिस इज़ लेक्चर नंबर नाइन्टी थर्ड ऑफ फिज़िक्स एंड इन टूडेज़ लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ कन्वर्जिंग लेंजेज इट मीन्स दैट वेयर वी कैन यूज कन्वर्जिंग लेंजेज uh the first one in this regard is camera but let me introduce first you to the topic lenses exist in a variety of places around us from the interior of the human eye to the inner working of computer memory systems positive or converging lenses focus light to a specific focal point a process which has applications ranging from improving vision to transmitting light information knowing some everyday application of converging uh, lenses helps illustrate their function and use dear learners in this regard we are first uh explaining the camera there are two types of cameras available one is using a film and the other nowadays the modern technology and that is the digital media surface so in both cases we are using lenses the camera uses a convex lens usually several lenses to produce a real inverted and diminished image on film focusing is done by moving the lens further from or near to the film a distant object requires the lens to film distance to be the focal length of the lens a nearer object requires the image distance to be greater than the focal length let us discuss that in this particular a uh, figure there is given full detail of the working principle of cameras you can see in case there are uh, at position number 1 they are lenses as i told you that the camera is using many lenses the first lens is a converging lens the second one is a concave lens the third one is also a converging lens so these are the lenses which is used to focus and make it sharp and one portion is used to magnify the first lens in this regard is used to magnify the image the second uh converging lens is used to focus it on the uh we find it or i p s and to the film as well so the second one is the reflex mirror if the image is coming to this reflect mirror then which is at about 45 degree then it is directed towards a pentaprism you can see in which is label a7 five is the focusing screen Six is the condenser lens, and seven is the pentaprism. And after passing that, it will be directed to number eight, and that is the eyepiece. 
so in this regard we can define that lenses in a cameras are working cameras utilize converging lenses not only to focus an image but also to magnify it most camera lenses consist of a converging lens followed by a diverging lens as you can see in the uh, figure followed by a second converging lens the first lens controls the magnification level as i told you of the image by moving towards or away from the object when when we are rotating the front of the camera with our four fingers and thumb then actually we are moving the first converging lens nearer to the object or away from the object to focus it correctly then what happens light passes through the first lens and through the diverging lens which flip the inverted image the final converging lens then inverts the image one last time and delivers the image to the rear of the camera the image then prints on the film or digital media surface whatever you are having so dear learners the first case in the first case we saw that converging lens plays a very vital role when it comes to the camera the second usage of this converging lens is in the case of microscopes now microscopes are devices which are used to see a, an image which is not visible to the naked eye clearly we can see the enlarged image of that object after passing through three lenses and then we will be able to see that image microscope utilize converging lenses to create extremely magnified images of small objects most simple microscopes consist of three lenses as i told you the first lens at the end of the microscope produces a magnified an inverted image the second lens inverts and magnifies this image while the final lens the eyepiece delivers the magnified upright image of the object weaves in front of the first lens by changing the distance of the first lens from the object the image delivered to the eyepiece will appear more or less magnified let me show you the working process of this there is a very small object in this case which is here let me increase the size so you will see that there is a very small image which is not visible to the human eye uh, naked eye to the human naked eye so one line is passing from the principal uh, axis without any deviation the top is here going to this line and the second is passing from the optical center and this image will be made now the second object is used to enlarge this and we will see this the one portion is shown similarly this will 
also be from this side it will be magnified so as a result we will see this larger image of the very small object so in microscope the converging lenses are used to see an upright magnified image of very small object which are not visible to the naked eye so that was the second use the third one is the eyeglass dear learners i told you in one of the previous lecture that these converging lenses are used in the glasses in which a body is having near sighted or far sighted if a person cannot see an image which is nearer to the eye very clearly then the person is said to be near sighted similarly if a person is not seeing it when the object is far away from it then that person is known to be far sighted so a person becomes near sighted or far sighted because the lens of the eye fails to properly focus light on the retina and that is the main reason why we are using glasses in the case of far sightedness the lens of the eye focuses the image too far behind the retina as it is shown in the first figure here that the image should be formed in this location but it is formed here so we are not clearly seeing as you can see that this line double line is so it will be going directly to that location after passing the retina and it will not be focused on exact location this first picture is showing that there is a is a defect in the human eye and the object is seen to the human eyes is a blur one and it will be looking as a double image to the human eye now to overcome this defect there is a lens is used converging lens this is the object in which one line will pass and it will be bended to the exact location one is going from down and it will be bended now in this case you can see that the object is placed at the exact location of the retina and we can see sharp image of the object so to overcome the uh, defects in eyes we are using glasses and that glasses are used for uh, solution for the solution of eye defect in the case of far sightedness the lens of the eye focuses the image too far behind the retina as i told you this causes difficulty in focusing on object close to the eye a converging lens placed in front of the eye behind the incoming light sharply so the focal point shortness shortens and the light focuses properly on the retina so in this way we can solve the problem of short sightedness remember that for 
for sighted defects we are using the concave lens as well as the converging lens for short sight for near sightedness we are only using the convex lens as you can see it in this particular case now next is the magnifying glass the usage of converging lenses are used very frequently inside the magnifying glasses these are used by different people in different repairing shops for example if they want to magnify a very thin wire which is known as traces uh, in technical word and they want to magnify it then they are using this uh magnifying glasses in another place if we want to see a very short and narrow word printed on a paper and we want to see it very clearly enlarged object then we will use the magnifying glasses the magnifying glass represent one of the simplest most direct applications of a converging lens as light enter the lens it becomes focused to a specific focal point in front of the center of the lens once you bring the magnifying glass to the optimal distance so the focal point reaches the object let me discuss it and then we will this is the object which is of flower one ray is going from the top side and the second ray is going from the bottom side after passing it it will go in this direction and after passing the middle it will go to this direction and it will be directed to the eyes now this will increase this line as well as this line and as a result we will see this image which is an enlarged one and remember that this image is a virtual image as well as the upright or erect image we discuss that in greater detail that how virtual images is form on the side of the lens on which the object is situated so this is the whole process the object will appear at maximum magnification as you can see the larger image of the flower move the glass further from the object and it will become distorted yes if you are moving it then you will see nothing uh move the glass closer to the object and it will decrease the magnification so that is why people are moving the magnifying glass is closer to the object and away from the object to see a very crystal clear view of that small object so that is the very direct application of the magnifying glasses there are other type of uh usage as well and both of these two are having the same principle this is the slide projector which is also known as the overhead projector in the older days we were using a sheet of plastic on which we were printing the words 
which is to be shown to the large audience so now it is we are connecting our laptop or mobile to the leds or lcds through the hdmi cable and very rare usage of the older style a uh, slide projector is nowadays used when we were in the university we were using this slide projector uh, quite frequently so there are two lenses one is this one and one is this one and the third one is this this is plano con convex lens and this is also plano convex lens there is a lamp Uh, light is passing through this which is bending it and more focusing it through the second lens and after passing from the optical center it will pass without any deviation and you will see a very clear cut real and magnified image of the uh, object so this is the object which we want to see in larger ratio so these three lenses are used we are focusing it to the middle so when a light is passing through the optical center it will pass without any deviation now the next one is photograph enlarger this is photograph enlarger and it is working exactly in the same fashion as by the slide projector let us discuss the slide projector a projector essentially uses a convex lens to form on a screen a real magnified and inverted image of the slide or film the slide being the object is position between f and 2f from the lens yes this object is place in between f and 2f and we yesterday said that if it is in f and 2f we will see inverted real magnified image we will be greater than 2f then and i also told you that this is used in projector and photograph enlarger now photograph enlarger is using the same concept uh here there is a photograph paper on which we want to print an enlarge uh image of the object so this is the light and that light after passing the two lenses which you saw in the case of slide projector after passing it it will be directed to the optical center which is denoted by c and any ray passing through that point will pass without any deviation like this and in this case also you will see that the enlarged uh, image is shown to you on the paper as i told you the working principle of a photograph enlarger is basically the same as that of a slide projector it uses a convex lens to produce on photographic paper a real magnified and inverted image of the film the focusing action of the enlarger is the same as that of the projector so we discussed that 
and with this we came to the end of this theoretical portion tomorrow we will inshallah start the uh, exercise on this uh, so very important uh, phase is coming because we have to check our uh, knowledge that what we gained inside this theoretical portion and in the form of numerical and multiple choice questions we will uh, check our knowledge thank you very much for your time have a nice time allah hafiz